we're back with another video and today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to do a game review. Now this specific game I'm going to be reviewing is called Grand Battle Royale. It's amazing. <laughs> Hopefully this is going to be a thing I start up doing on the channel, more reviews like this. Hope you enjoy the video and here you go. Here is Grand Battle Royale. Okay, right away I know what you guys are going to say immediately. What is this? This? What? But seriously, this thing is packed with content. Look at all these costumes and everything. You can get hats, parachutes, and even logos for your account. And there's a lot of modes, too. It's like, I know it's another Battle Royale game, just like Fortnite, but look at all this stuff. The first mode we're going to be taking a look at is Battle Royale mode, probably the main attraction of this game. There are three different levels for the Battle Royale mode, and each lobby for the specific maps is basically in the map. You can go there, but like, you wouldn't want to because there's terrible loot there. There's a lot of stuff you can do too, well, secrets for some things. Say jumping out of this tree and getting this jewel. You can get an achievement the first time you do it. Also, you can dance, and that gets an achievement too. There's even a first person mode and this team up mode, but I never really did that because I found the experience was a lot better by myself. And I didn't want there to be one person left and I couldn't kill them because they were on my team. So I didn't team with anyone and I just sat on the beach. Like that. Wait a minute, is that guy doing what I think he's doing? No! Once you get in the plane, you're finally emerging onto the island and can finally land, pick up a weapon, and dominate the game. You might be wondering that, wow, this map actually looks really small. But once you get down on the ground, you really realize how big it is, even though it's really small from above. And that is important! You need a big map to fit all of these weapons in. You need to pick up a weapon and dominate the game. Okay, this time is the one. I'm gonna drop down, pick up my loot, and I'm gonna get to kill it. Okay, now let's talk about the hide and seek mode. Probably my favorite one in the game so far. The hide and seek mode involves the hunters and the hiders. Since every time you play the hide and seek mode, you either play as a hunter or a hider, I thought it would be a good idea to address them both separately by showing you what happened in my games playing as them and just talking about the different experience that you have while using them. So let's do hider first. I'm a chicken now. When you play as a prop, you play as one of the various items in the map that you're playing in. And I was a chicken at the start, but honestly, I wasn't going to be hiding that well. So I switched to, um, burrito meal. Fight! Oh, oh no, the hunters are on the move. Well, it doesn't matter, because this environment right here is perfect for the burrito meal. Eh, eh, these idiots don't even know I'm here. I guess the real question is, how long am I going to be waiting here for? Yes! We're in the final 20 seconds of the game. This could be it. I think we're about to win, guys. Looks like no one's in here. I guess we're good. So, I don't even need to move. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. I don't even care anymore. Let's just run away. Yeah! Right before I continue showing casing what can happen, there's also this free lucky chest you can get. It takes four hours to charge up and you can always get keys, money, a VIP pass for a day, or some gems. Either one is extremely useful when it comes to purchasing things in this game. Now it's also a good time to mention that there's two maps for the hide and seek game. And both of them are brilliant and offer a wide range of things you can be as the prop player in order to hide. And it's also a good time to mention that this game played out almost identical to the last one. I was a chessboard next to a chessboard with two other guys. And then I switched to a bottle and won the game. Victory. 
So now let's talk about the hunters. The hunters obviously have to hunt down the props that are hiding throughout the map. And that's harder than it sounds, because a lot of the people you go against, aka real players, are very good at disguising themselves. Like me. The hunters wait 20 seconds for the props to hide, and once the timer's done, you're off, and you gotta find the props. Oh wait, there's a guy. What luck. Ha <laughs> ha. One down. Oh wait, another guy too. I'm getting so lucky in this one. Let's get him down like the other guy. Okay, is this luck or am I just a really good hunter? Because there's another guy right here. Oh no, no, no. Don't you think you could escape from me? Get out of here with that. Okay, so the last mode we're going to talk about today is infection mode. I think it's best to explain what happens while I show you some of the clips of the game. Okay, guys, so we're in, like, the last 20 seconds of the game, and two more props died since I just killed the three at the start. Am I doing something wrong? Did I miss something? I swear we're gonna lose. Don't do it. Somebody kill someone, please. Oh, God, three, two, one. No! In infection mode, one person in the lobby gets turned into a zombie and needs to infect all of the other humans in the lobby and turns them all into zombies. The way the zombies win is by everyone turning to zombies and then the zombies win. If the zombies lose, that results in all of the humans, well, not all of them, at least some of them, surviving the attack. And that is difficult! Look at this! Look at it! Get that out of here! Oh gosh, guys, there's just constant waves of zombies getting onto the rooftops. I gotta get him out. Get him down. Get that. Get out of here. Oh, looks like someone else got her. Oh, wait, another one there. Get him. Yep. I think we're gonna do it, guys. There's just endless amounts of zombies coming up onto the rooftops. But it looks like we're untouched for now. Oh gosh, guys, there's only four humans left, and there's four humans on top of this rooftop. We're the only ones left. Good thing there's only five seconds left. Get out of here, zombies. Oh, wait, I, I don't see any. Okay, guys, that wasn't the best of clips for me to show you guys. I mean, I didn't even get turned into a zombie. You didn't even get the experience. So in this game, I'm going to take as many obscure chances as I can to either see if I can get a good shot or to get zombified. Hmm. Ah, there's a zombie right there. Get that out of here. Oh no, I died. You think you can defeat me, zombies? Then you are 100% correct. So now we're a zombie and it's time to infect all of the humans. Haha, <laughs> there's a guy right here. You think you can defeat me, pathetic human? You're wrong! Haha, <laughs> another guy right here. Get out! Get that out of here! Boom! Wait, no, come on, get back here! I wanna kill you first! Yes! Zombie apocalypse! Oh yeah! But yeah, that's pretty much everything that needs to be said about the game, at least from what my experience was. Because there's a lot more modes, I haven't tried them out yet, so maybe I might make a part 2 video once I've tried out those mo um, those versions and um, the other modes, because I don't really um, have the full experience of the game, but even with those free modes, like I've had a full experience of the game, I, I still haven't tried out three of them and like I guess I have tried one of the three that I haven't tried wait but I didn't really enjoy it that much like I don't really know what it is I don't know what it's supposed to be I just started with a pistol and again if else I just had a pistol the entire time so it wasn't that fun but I'll try it again sometime so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and um, hope you enjoyed maybe if this should be another thing I might start doing and yep, that's going to be it for me. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Squidamow!